Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to insert items in a combo box and then read whatever the user selects from it. And for that, I'm going to create a new project, Windows Form App. And this is my form. And on my form, I want a couple of things. I want a combo box. So I'm going to click on combo box and then click right here on the form then I want a label click on the label and then click on the form and then I want a button so basically this will be a combo box and the user click on this button and then whatever value picks up from the combo box will be displayed in the label. So first, I'm going to click on the combo box and I'm going to click on properties. And the name, I want to change it to combo box test. And I'm also going to change the font to 24 only so it's easier for you to read when you're watching this video. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the label. So click on the label, then right click in properties. Then right here on the properties window, I'm going to change the fonts to 24. And I'm going to also change the name to LBL tests. And I'm going to do something similar to the button, so right click in properties, the name for this button, it doesn't matter, so I'm going to just leave it as a button one, but I am going to change the font to also 24, and I'm going to change the text from button one to submit. So very simple for now only three items and if I run this program all I have is the label, the submit button and the combo box. Now the goal is to populate the combo box then click on submit, read the value that the user selects in the combo box and then display it right in the label. So the first thing is to populate the items. So I'm going to select the form and I'm going to double click right here on the form. Once I do that, Visual Studio creates a method for me here. And this method gets called whenever the form loads. So right here, I want to populate the combo box. So items in the combo box comes in pairs of key and value. Because of that, and we're going to have to create a key value pair to put inside the combo box. So combo box test dot items dot add. And right here inside this parenthesis, I need to add a key value pair. So I'm going to create a new key value pair. And the key is a, a string and the value is also a string. And now here between parentheses, I can put the two strings that I want to display in the combo box. So the first one is banana and the value is going to be zero. Then the second item is going to be apple, and the value is 1. And the third item, potato, and the value is going to be 2. So very simple. You can add more items here if you want to. I'm just going to leave this at 3 for now. And the last step is to set the key and the value. So combo box test dot display member equals 
key and then combo box test dot value member equals value. This is going to be very useful whenever we're reading the values from this combo box. So I'm going to run this program again. And now, right here, we have three items, the apple, the potato, and the banana. So now let's work on the submit button. I'm going to go back to my form, and I'm going to double click on the submit button. So that creates a method for me, and this method will be called whenever I click on the submit button. So here in this method, I want to read the value from the combo box. And the value that you read from the combo box is a key value pair. The same way we insert right here, we're going to create one right here. And the data type is a string and a string. And I'm going to name it key KVP. Key value pair. And the data type is string and also string. And then I'm going to read the value from the combo box. Selected item. So basically, you read the value that you selected. And then you have to type cast to the key value pair. And then I'm going to start on a variable called KVP. And now I can extract the key and the value that I get from the combo box. So string key to string and then string value equals key value pair dot value dot to string. So now I have the key and the value that the user selected. And now I have to set it on the label. So LBL test dot text equals, I want to set the key, comma, a space, and then the value. Now let's run this program. Very simple program, combo box. I want to click on Apple, and then once you submit, it gets Apple, and then it also gets the value. So if I change it to banana, it gets the banana and also the value of the banana. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy, and you can do it.